Was Prince Harry really banned from visiting his father at Sandringham, or is there more to the story? That's the provocative question that has been capturing headlines and stirring up royal enthusiasts across the globe. Reports suggest that Prince Harry was prevented from meeting King Charles III at Sandringham, adding a new twist to the ongoing narrative of royal family dynamics. Join us as we delve into the events leading up to this alleged ban and uncover the truth behind the headlines. Our story begins with Prince Harry's decision to fly to the UK, intending to support his father during his health ordeal. It was a heartfelt move, filled with a son's concern for his ailing parent. But as we all know, when it comes to the royal family, things are seldom straightforward. Upon landing, Prince Harry found himself rerouted from his original destination, Sandringham, to Clarence House. This change of plans was reportedly due to palace aides expressing concerns about the potential difficulty of managing his visit. Now, whether these concerns were about logistics, health precautions, or something else altogether, we can't say for sure. But what we do know is that this redirection served to stoke the fires of speculation and intrigue about the dynamics within the royal family. As the news broke, the media was quick to frame this as a calculated effort to maintain distance, casting a shadow over the familial bonds within the House of Windsor. The narrative quickly gained momentum, with reports suggesting that Prince Harry was blocked from meeting his father, King Charles III, at Sandringham. The image painted was one of a prince, ready to support his father, being turned away at the gates. But let's not forget, this is the royal family we're talking about. Every move, every decision, is a complex dance of personal desires, familial obligations, and royal protocol. King Charles III's decision to meet Harry at Clarence House, albeit for a shorter duration than hoped, suggests there's more to this story than what meets the eye. While the media was busy spinning tales of a royal rift, the swift transition to Sandringham and shorter meeting at Clarence House suggest a more nuanced narrative. Perhaps it was about managing a delicate health situation or navigating the labyrinthine nature of royal engagements. Or maybe, just maybe, it was simply about a father and son trying to find a moment of connection amidst the swirling rumors and relentless scrutiny. Despite the media portrayal of these events, the swift transition to Sandringham and shorter meeting at Clarence House suggest a more complex narrative. The media's portrayal of this incident as a ban has sparked intense speculation and debate. Was Prince Harry really barred from meeting his ailing father at Sandringham, or is there more to the story? It's important to remember that the royal family operates under a unique set of protocols and considerations. What may seem like a ban to the outside world could be something more mundane, like a logistical challenge. It's also worth noting that we're talking about a family that's constantly under public scrutiny. Every move is analyzed, every decision dissected. Some see the redirection of Prince Harry's visit as a calculated move, a way to maintain distance. They argue that it's a sign of a deepening rift within the family, an indication of discord and disunity. This interpretation, while juicy and attention-grabbing, may not necessarily reflect the reality. On the other hand, there are those who view this episode as a pragmatic decision. King Charles III is battling a serious illness. It's possible that the palace aides, in their wish to ensure a stress-free environment for him, thought it best to limit his engagements. In this light, the ban may not be a ban at all, but rather a careful management of the king's schedule and well-being. Or perhaps, the truth lies somewhere in between. It might be a blend of familial tensions and practical considerations, a complex dance of personal feelings and public duties. One thing is clear, though. The narrative that's being spun around this incident is as multifaceted as the royal family itself. In the end, we're left with more questions than answers. Is this a sign of a royal rift? 
or a misunderstanding blown out of proportion? Is Prince Harry being sidelined, or is he simply caught up in the intricate ballet of royal protocol? As we've seen, the truth behind this alleged ban may be more complex than it initially appears. This incident, while seemingly a small chapter in the larger royal saga, highlights the unique pressures of royal life. It's a vivid reminder of the delicate dance the royal family must perform, balancing their personal lives with the weight of public expectations and the ever-watchful eye of the media. Imagine, if you will, the royal family as a ship, navigating the tumultuous sea of public opinion. Every decision they make, every interaction they have, is a stroke of the oar that determines their course. And in this sea, there are no small waves. Even the most seemingly insignificant events can ripple out, causing a storm of speculation and discourse. Now consider the alleged ban on Prince Harry's Sandringham visit. On the surface, it might seem like a simple, practical decision. A change of venue, a change of schedule. Nothing more than a logistical hiccup. But in the context of the royal family, it becomes a symbolic act. A gesture analyzed and dissected by the public and the media. The narrative that has been spun around this incident is a testament to the intense scrutiny the royals face. It speaks volumes about the challenges they grapple with as they strive to maintain their personal relationships amidst a whirlwind of public intrigue and speculation. Yet, in the grand scheme of things, it's important to remember that every family has its complexities, its ups and downs. The royal family despite the crowns and palaces, is no different. They too have their misunderstandings, their disagreements. But unlike most families, their dynamics play out on a global stage under the relentless glare of the spotlight. Whether this incident represents a significant rift or a mere logistical hiccup remains a topic of speculation. However, one thing is clear. The fascination with the dynamics of Britain's royal family endures. Their lives, their actions, their relationships, these continue to captivate and intrigue us, offering a glimpse into a world that is at once familiar and utterly unique. So, what have we learned from this episode? The supposed ban of Prince Harry from Sandringham has painted a vivid tableau of royal life, complete with its intricate dance of protocol, personal desires, and public perception. It underscores the delicate balancing act the royal family must perform, often under intense scrutiny. While the truth behind Prince Harry's alleged ban from Sandringham may never be fully revealed, the intrigue surrounding the royal family shows no signs of abating.